Hey everybody, the Reese Viral here, and welcome back to more Phoenix Ray Ace Attorney Justice for All. Okay, so this is the start of the trial. On the fourth day, I think. Crazy. Um, Nick? Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only eight? Not only 18? Just like me? I was like, huh? Uh, yeah. Why? I'm just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time all by herself, and she's so grown up. Yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me and... Well... I'm the daughter of the Mester, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Again. But I think you're really strong too, Maya. For all you've gone through, that's true. Oh god. Well, good morning. The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly. Jesus. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Huh? What do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support. N yeah. Yeah. That's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls. Yes, Mr. Nick? Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel me if today too? Huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. But Pearly, not this again. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later then. I'll leave you two to your alone time. <laughs> ah. Whew. Thank goodness. Nick? This way, Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What do you mean? What's going on? Well, I mean, the ant is a bit of a... suspect as well. You don't really want Pearls to see her mother's treachery. Oh! Car is now in session for the trial of Maya Fey. Again. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Oh, damn. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish. You foolish fool wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. Oh my god. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Today's the first day you... I need to die. <laughs> the first day you lose. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I condu conduct my first trial in this country. Aha. Uh -huh. That's nice, Miss Von Karma. Hmm. Nice to see... You're in such good spirits today, Miss Faye. Uh, it's true what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. <laughs> so now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. Alright, let's hear it. Hmm? The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of the arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? Okay. But, Miss Von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Then what is the meaning of this? All I'm saying is that Maya Fey, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Fay, to the stand. I don't know why, whenever I see the word... Um, aunt... On screen, like that, like, I see the words out, I always want to pronounce it, aunt. But any other time, I, if I just say it, I always just say aunt. I don't know why, just reading it makes me read it differently and pronounce it differently. Just as I suspected, Aunt Morgan. Oh, Mia. She seems really torn by this. I mean, it's understandable, it's family. Your family's testifying against... Essentially, against you. 
Witness, name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I am a spirit medium. In a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean, in a manner of speaking? Oh dear. I don't think anyone really cares. <laughs> now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. Spirit severing technique? The technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world. That is... Yes, that is... You, be quiet. Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. What in the world could have... Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. Wait, what? That's bullshit. She didn't say that in the first, like, the day. On the day, she didn't say, like, oh, she said, Maya's been taken care of, it's fine. Or something to that effect. And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Faye, while in a possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. Oh! <laughs> order, order! Miss Faye, please testify to the court, or to this court, what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial. Indeed. Maya's escape. Morgan, you're full of shit. After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. Ugh. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand, and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Bullshit. She would have told us if that was the case. Why have you hidden this until now? I... I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct falsities when they arise, and it just so happens you arise those falsities in favour of the prosecution. Hmm. That's right, she's simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. My aunt is a very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. Okay. Do, 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 do. Is there a way of doing that without having to shout hold it? Oh yeah, there is. I forgot. Just now you said those two. <laughs> oh my god. Who were the two people you were referring to? I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Um, Lada's not a foreigner. Despite how she talks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I simply could not understand her atrocious English, not to mention she looked awful. I can already see people in the Heartland gearing up for a riot. In any case, I have already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. What? Oh, uh, thanks. Wait, what repair bill? Oh, for breaking down the door. What did you do after that, Miss Faye? Okay. Was it really necessary to have two people do something as simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm, yes, that is a very good point. At that time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another. Another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I want to hear the end of that sentence. Yeah, go further. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? You must testify. Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. No, oh, of course. The lives of both the good sir and that camera woman may be in danger, is what I thought to myself. Her hair is simply huge. It's crazy. That was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. Now people have go a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my end for you. You satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Faye, please continue. You got it. The pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand and she was in a daze. 
During your investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head. And this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. But... Why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this, however. Fuck off, Bonkana. The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Maya? I don't buy it. So you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That the renegade Mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. S something unexpected? What, pray tell, did she- This witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. Yes, very well. Why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? Now, witness, continue with what happened. Point suddenly... Thrusted away from herself... Or thrusted me away from herself and escaped the room. Is it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit such a thing, however, yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. There is no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Jesus. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember that at the time the defendant was not physically my affair. Oh yeah, good point. Hmm. Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However... Hmm. You fainted. I became dizzy and then collapsed onto the floor. How long were you unconscious? I... I'm not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps? Hmm. And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy? Witness, elaborate on that point for us. I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Hmm. Is that because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Great. Well, now what? Question further, leave her be. Further! So while you were unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true... Then how can you know for sure that defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. I mean, that's true. It's true that this witness is not able to confirm this. But the key word here is THIS witness. What do you mean by that? It means she has another witness up her sleeve, that's what. Looks like Miss Von Karma is ready to move on to her next witness. Great. That's enough! From what I can tell, there is nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what she has says we, uh, said, we can establish that Maya Faye did leave the chamber. Hmm, I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Now let's take the next logical step and ask, where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes. That is exactly what we should be... <laughs> be quiet, you. Now then, what the escapee had, had done was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She... she went to speak with someone? Who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Eeny Miney, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Eeny Miney? I think you can see where this is headed. Yep. <laughs> Great! Witness, name and occupation. Um, okay, so my name is, like, Eeny Miney. I'm, like, researching, like, parapsychology stuff at the, um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's, like, I guess, most people call it occult stuff. Even if that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what that means. Then I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love how much of a pushover the judge is. Here's the best. Now then, Miss Miney. After the murder took place, you soaked with the defendant, Maya Faye. Is this correct? Um, well, 
Hmm, whoa, okay. If that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. That is all right, isn't it, Your Honor? <laughs> yes, sir. For the love of all things good, Your Honor, have some spine, for my sake. Also, hey, Thomas. How's it going? After the murder. Bum bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Like, when the channeling started, I was, like, sleeping in the side room. A little later, someone came into the room really suddenly. I'm just gonna stop saying the like. It's starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> it was, oh my god, totally my sister. I hadn't seen her in so long. I was so happy in a sad way. My sister, she told me something totally terrible. <laughs> now hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person that entered was your sister? Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Faye? Really now, Your Honor. Maya Faye was still in the middle of channeling at that time. He was saying that the spirit... Oh god, that the spirit was the spirit of the witness's sister? Indeed. Yes, Mimi Miney. She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh, well, this is... Witness? <laughs> yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Okay? Do I totally really have to? Of course. Miss Miney, please. What the fuck? My sister... This is what she said to me. That was no accident. Oh. On about the car crash. Bum bum. I was drugged. Something about sleeping pills. I looked away for a sec. I was murdered by that person. Dear. That person is most probably Dr. Gray. I mean, that was the suspicion anyway, was that he drugged her so they'd crash. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair. Isn't it? Eeny? I think I prefer how that was explained in the show. It was like an eye for an eye, right, Tess? It was something like that. She took her revenge. Are you sure that's what she said? Yes. There, are you satisfied, Your Honor? No! I still can't believe it. I can't believe that a spirit would go as far, or go so far, as to use a medium to get revenge. It is a bit hard to swallow. But it is most certainly what happened. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to, th point to this as the truth. Bum bum bum! The end. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Mr. Wright? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This is a crock of shit! <laughs> this testimony just now, was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. How could she read my thoughts? Mia, what do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. But even the most well-spun lies can be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Yeah! Your Honor, there is room for doubt, so the defense will cross-examine this witness. We believe that our cross-examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolish fool spouts out more foolishly foolish drivel. Jesus, she really likes the word fool. I wonder if you'll make this... this one more entertaining than the last. Bite me, Von Karma. Ah, <sighs> after the murder. Sod it. Do the usual thing. Press everything! Is that because of your... sesame allergy, was it? That's right. I think there were sesame... Oh god. Sesame seeds in the lunch they served that day. I had this, like, premonition that it was going to totally be a seedy day. Yes, indeed. Hmm. I see. Am I the only one who missed the boat here? Anyway, so you were taking a nap. Did something happen while you were sleeping? Like, really suddenly. Do you know the time? Uh... Maybe a little before 11am. Something like that, I think. 11am. 
Yeah, my stomach is totally ready for, like, food. Okay. I think you misunderstood me. Oh, <laughs> oh right. I didn't even catch that. I'm not asking what time it is now. I meant what time was it when the someone came into your room? Oh. So that's what you meant. I knew she was going to say that. You should have been more clear about it. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. It's really... <laughs> that's it? Why did you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, what was I talking about again? Oh my god. Never mind. Witness about this person who entered the side room. Wow, that was... Interesting dialogue. It just resulted in triple dots. Are you absolutely sure? I guess. You guess. Was it or was it not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know. I mean, I totally don't know your sister at all, Mr. Smith. Fuck's sake. First off, my name is not Mr. Smith. Second, I'm an only child. Hmm. But more than that, she's managed to mess up the question with her answer. Okay. Well, Mr. Wright, the defense rests. Well, that was a colossal waste of our time. Now then, witness, how did you feel when you saw Miss Mimi Miney? Okay. I was so happy in a sad way. You were happy in a sad way? Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react... react here with surprise at seeing a dead loved one alive again? But maybe if I was someone who didn't know about the occult... But I <laughs> know all about the Karai channeling technique. The point here is the witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, what she said. Hmm. Should I drop this line of questioning? She instantly recognized it was her sister. Really? Even though she had completely different clothes and completely different hair. Yeah, I don't I don't buy it. Not at all. She so really didn't th think anything strange of the whole encounter. No. Like, there wasn't any reason for me to think anything was strange. But, oh dear. Don't keep badgering her. You know the phrase. Objection. Could you try using that once in a while? Hmm, Mr. Wright. This question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister. Is it really that important? It is very important, Your Honor. Because of course. It is very important, although I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. But I've got to bluff for now, and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. Alright. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Wright. Miss Miney, please amend your testimony. Okay. I'm totally cool with that. Yeah, you sound it. I wasn't scared at all. And her costume looked totally normal. Uh, okay. You're full of lies. Where the hell is it? Which one is it? Uh, how do I check? Uh. Okay, cool. Not that one. Aha! That's more like it. Actually, wait, would it... I mean, she was wearing that. So... Yeah, let's go with that. Objection! That was a very well-spun lie, Mazzini. What are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. You're stealing my lines now, are you, are we, Phoenix? Miss Miney, may I remind you of what you said? You said that. Ugh, you said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. But yeah, and. But I don't really think you thought that at all. Take a look at this picture. This is a picture of the sister you met. I would think that even you would be surprised if someone like this appeared before you. Oh! The blood spray! Miss Miney, I never even thought about the blood. <laughs> oh my god, I'm an idiot. Why did you not include the blood you saw in the testimony? If you were really testifying, and not lying, you would have noted it right off the bat. 
Oh, she's buying a hat. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. The blood did not even know. Uh, it didn't even like occur to me that that would be important in any way. <laughs> Can't believe it. It was the most like obvious thing about the picture, but I was more so going off of the outfit, not the blood that was spread across it. Oh dear. Miss Miney, what is the meaning of this? Miss Miney? Oh dear. Well, her real self is showing. I'm thinking, don't interrupt me. Uh, that... What are you stammering about, Your Honor? Uh, well, I... That witness, her personality did a complete 180 there. Lots of people do that when they get on the stand, though. First of all, calm yourself down, witness. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap. Now hurry up with the testimony. If you please. The judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of help he's gonna be. Yeah, the judge is incredibly spineless. Ah, dear. Anyway, after the murder part two. The side room was kind of dark, you know? So the costume is like purple, right? The blood totally blended right in. And I persuaded my sister it wasn't like right to do something like that. And then I took my sister to the channel to the channeling chamber. I keep getting tongue twisted on stuff. Don't know why. Hmm. Yes. Now I see. And you have given us a clear reason for why you didn't notice the blood. You think? <laughs> She's just like yes. My lie worked. Thanks, Gramps. You satisfied, Mr. Wright? All right. I guess not. <laughs> Very well. You may question the witness. Hooray! After the murder part two! Part the. Okay, I don't really see a problem with those. Hmm. I persuaded my sister it wasn't right to do that. What was your sister, Miss Mimi Mimi Miney? like at the time. Well, she was totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Grey. But I think, like, she knew. She, like, said she did something really bad. She said she wanted to go with me to, like, apologize to Miss Morgan. Did Mimi Spirit really say all that to you? Like, yeah. Sure did. Took my sister to the journaling chamber. Was your sister calm by that time? I guess so. I guess maybe, like, taking her revenge on Dr. Grey, like, made her feel a lot better. Hey Kilo, how's it going? I'd like to feel a lot better too, Mr. Phoenix Wright, the sooner the better. She says, with her whip at the ready. And like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? May I ask you one more thing, Miss Miney? Like, sure. Was there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place? Huh? Like, when do you mean? Uh, when? When you... Uh, we're trying to catch her out when it comes to Pearl. I think. When you were going to the crime scene. Because they would have had to pass by Pearl. I think. Crime scene! Uh, if I gave them, I've tried doing that in the past. It don't work. I just sound like a twat. And yeah, I'm not. I'm not talented. <laughs> I'm talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber, of course. No, nothing strange. She answered rather quickly. Now what? Press harder. Think harder. I know you can remember something. I totally can't. That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to this car. My god. Will he not point out, like, you seem a bit pissed. <laughs> Do you think, Mr. Wright, that whether or not there was something odd on the way to the channeling chamber is all that important? Oh, it's very important, Your Honor. Because of course it is. I ask, because it is very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. But I've always says that every single time. Very well. Miss Miney, if you will, please include a statement about this in your testimony. Boom. 
I don't get why, but okay. Like, didn't see anyone. There it is. On the way to, like, the channeling chamber. You are full of absolute shit. I don't know why I keep using the fucking analog stick. I can use the D-pad. What am I doing? Is it this? Broken by Pearl, right before the murder. Boom. I mean, I could either... I'm trying to think. I could present either that, or I could present... Whoa. Not Dr. Gray. I could also present that. I'll just go with the evidence. Kaboom! Yeah, bitch. I finally found a fault. Or I guess in your case, the crack in your perfect lie. Ooh. Take a look at this urn. <laughs> like, urn? There are cracks. Do you see them? So? Like, what does that prove? Whoa. Who cares about some worn-out old urn? Like, yeah. I already, like, said I didn't see, like, anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. But you're lying! I didn't, like, totally say anything about, like, an urn, did I? It looks like you still don't understand. Ho ho! I propose that if you had really been walking along the winding way at that time, there was no way you could not have seen this person. Pearly! Yeah! I'd like to introduce you, not someone to you. This is Miss Morgan Faye's daughter, Pearl Faye. Yes. And how is this child relevant? It just so happens that at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. Oh. And she just happened to break this urn. Oh. But wait, she broke the urn? Oh, yeah. Yep. She accidentally knocked it over with her ball. Oh no! And Pearl was the one who put it back together. While sitting right in the middle of the winding way. I'm quite surprised like Morgan or no one saw her. To be fair. Oh god. What? I thought that's like their go-to reaction. Just a very long what? Miss Miney. Why lie? Pearl was there in the winding way at that time. She was hard at work putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. If you couldn't see that while you were walking, I'd have to declare you legally blind. I'm waiting for her thing to, to her personality to do a 180 again. I think I have sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Miney, that you're full of shit. Eh, you pretty much said what I was thinking. You are a masterful liar. Oh, that's a pretty creepy fucking image. <laughs> Mr. Wright, you need to watch what you say. The one who needs to watch what she says uh, what's, watch what she's saying is the witness. So, Miss Miney, tell us the truth. Uh, about what? About what? About where you really were at the time of the murder, of course. I was about to say, is Von Karma sweating? The witness just testified about that. That's right. I was sleeping in the side room. Can I really believe her? Was she really sleeping in the side room? Yeah, I guess so. There is no we. Your lies end here. Why? What do you? Oh, what do I mean? I got very confused by that. The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. I say that's not possible, because there is clearly a contra bleh, contradiction here. Contradiction? Where is this contradiction? In her testimony in the evidence, help me, Mia! <laughs> in her testimony. Poof. Earlier in, in your testimony, Miss Miney, you made the following statement. Like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber. You know? It's true that both myself... Or that at the time, both myself and Miss Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. S so? Whoa. Like, what does that have to do with anything? It's very simple. Miss Miney, how did you know that fact? But how? I can see that Miss Faye was the only person in the channeling chamber. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could not have known that. Oh! Which means, Miss Miney, you did in fact go to the channeling chamber. However, you didn't go there by the way of, or by way of the winding way. Ooh. Ooh. 
If you pick the wrong choices, you get like a chunk taken out of your... It's basically your health bar. If the health bar runs out, you end up basically game overing. And your defendant gets a guilty verdict, which is not what you want. But, but look at the mana guide man. If one were to go between the side room and the channeling chamber, one would have to use the winding way. Yes, that's right. Oh, that's right, Your Honor. Which is why... Which is why I asked this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um... Miss Miney, please answer the question. Fuck off, Von Karma. Why is she smiling? Don't ask a question off of a baseless assumption, if you please. Well, I suppose since you've put it out on the table, Mr. Phoenix, right? Oh! You might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah! God, my fucking shoulder. Ugh! The only person who could have killed Dr. Grey was Eeny Miney. So now is the time to prove it. Yeah, there you go. That's your health bar. So if I... If I present the wrong place on the map, it'll take a chunk out of my health bar. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your story. Or oh, answer. There's some situations where if you pick the wrong choice, it's just an instant guilty. So it's like an instant fuck up. Where was the witness when the murder took place? In the channeling chamber. Do I have to put it, like, exactly where? Or can it just be anywhere? Anywhere in the channeling chamber. Miss Miney was here, of course. What? But... That's the channeling chamber! Isn't that the crime scene? Exactly. That's right. Miss Miney was at the... The scene of the crime. I keep wanting to read things differently. It's fucking my brain up. Rada, rada, rada. That's why that is... Mr. Phoenix Wright, have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and the defendant were in the chamber when the channeling started. Yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple, Miss Eeny, Eeny Miney was hiding at the scene of the crime. I... I was hiding? Where? Like, where was I hiding? Behind the folding screen, of course. This is probably one where I do have to be... Accurate. I'm gonna go with there, because that lines up with where the bullet went through the folding screen. I was about to say, why the hell's my... My controller's not working. Oh. The, uh, analog sticking. Thing around about there. Whoop. Here, of course. Behind the folding screen. Don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind that folding screen. See, you stupid jerk. Quit being so quick. To pin it on me, Slimeball. And now, now, Miss Miney. One so young as you shouldn't be saying. Shut it, Gramps. As if you know exactly how old I am. I'm sorry. Sheesh. Looks like the pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help it along. Oh, she's... Changed now. The witness was hiding behind the folding screen with the help of this. Oh. The box. Where the hell's the box? There it is. Clothing box. Ding, ding. Miss Miney, how you were able to hide at the scene of the crime is very simple. I love the music. You were hiding inside this box! I still don't think this beats Cornered. Like, Cornered's probably the best song, but it's still pretty damn good. But that tiny little box, no person could fit in that. Sorry, but your theory is, has already been disproved. Lotta disproved you when she was hiding from me in it. Um... She's sweating too? Yeah. <laughs> that clothing box was in the side room, right? Which means it has nothing to do with the murder at all. But that's right. I was sleeping there, so I should know. That clothing box was there in the side room. The whole time. Hmm. Mr. Wright. Do you think you can prove where the clothing box was at the time of the crime? Yes, I can, with some evidence. It's got a bullet hole in it. For fuck's sake. Man. And now I present the piece of evidence that, I, that will prove this clothing box was at the scene of the...